Does filing adjustment of status cancel my J-1 or F-1 status? This is another myth we have seen uh, in the last couple of weeks on some of our just kind of perusing of chats and, and Facebook groups and things like that to see what people are talking about on the internet. There seems to be a myth out there that you cannot pursue uh, multiple or hold multiple types of things at the same time in immigration law, um, which isn't true. In some cases you can, in some cases you can't. So there are definitely a lot of, we have a lot of clients who are specifically with the F1s in particular, um, you know, they are currently students or maybe they're on um, OPT, uh, um, STEM OPT, something like that. They're working um, after graduation or they're still students. You can continue to hold that status while you attempt to adjust to become a permanent resident. And in a lot of cases, the safest thing to do really is, is to hold your current status, whether that's an H-1B or, you know, an F-1 or whatever, to keep that in good status while at the same time reaching for your better option of becoming a permanent resident through the marriage, and then not, not relinquishing any of the things having to do with your other status until you actually do have that green card in hand, um, just in case there were problems with the relationship or something unexpected shows up. It's nice to have both of those going at once. It's not necessary to keep both of them going at once. We also have people who will say, you know, I, I actually don't want to keep going to school right now, or I'm facing financial trouble or something like that or I want to switch jobs and I'm in an H-1B and I typically wouldn't be able to do that easily. Uh, but now that I have my temporary work authorization through adjustment of status, I want to do it. And they, um, and they can, so it, you know, case by case, but it's not, it's not true that you automatically lose that status by trying for something else um, or that you can't maintain it because in some cases you can. So if you have questions about your very specific case about that and your specific status and how you can maintain it or things like that, um, we're happy to, to talk with you. You can make a consultation about that because it's pretty um, fact specific. Uh, but just wanted to debunk some myths today. So thought we would bring that up.